Oh, it's minus 20, so <laughs> filming is uh, easier said than done. Here we go. I'll do it like that. Oh, got these big ass gloves. But okay, I'll give you a squeeze. Try. Minus 14 in the tent. It was minus 23. You can see, the lens doesn't like this either. The camera doesn't like this. It's too cold for the camera. Ah, oh, it's manual focus. Fuck. I can only have my hands out for a couple of seconds. It's just too cold. All right, here we go. That stupid mountain muirfield is blocking the sun, which would heat things up a lot. And I have to say, whatever the reason, the camera doesn't like the cold. Everything's coming out very funny here, but. It's too cold for the camera, for sure. Circuits don't like it. Anyway, you get the idea. I think there's some condensation or something in there. I don't know what it is exactly, but this is too cold for the camera. I don't even know if I'll go on a trip. I'm certainly gonna to to take my time. It is cold. <laughs> anyway, I better take a photo, I guess. Well, I'm just uh, defrosting in the sun. Man, it's still about minus 16 or something in the shade, minus 17. But in the sun it's much warmer. So I've got my mat out. And it's gorgeous, but I've got such a late start. It took forever before the sun came out. It didn't come out till 11 behind that stupid hill. And it was just too cold to do anything. It was minus 20, 21. I wasn't going to pack up and get moving. Fuck that. It takes so much longer when it's that cold. My hands just had to take a dump this morning. And uh, it took me 15 minutes or 5 minutes to warm my hands up after that. That was the worst. The one day, the only dump of the trip I have to pick when it's minus 20 outside. As it was then. Um, Quite a few people out and about. A little camped a little close to the trail. Yesterday I was I can actually see it from that top along that ridge. And I came down and got completely lost. I came down uh, through all this bush there. It's freaking steep, and then I got lost and had a long trek. You can see my trails in the dark. So I deserve to take it easy today, man. No question. Camp. Well, I'm only about 100 yards from the camp, if that. It took me ever, like half an hour, just to get that 100 yards last night. It's such a late start, it's already about 120, so I'm not going to get very far. I don't even get up the hill, which is in the shade, but I just wanted to film this spectacular view behind me and take some photos. It is a gorgeous day. God, I'm pissed off I didn't get an early start, but I had to defrost. I was so cold. All right. Okay.
the creek I uh, crossed in it pitch black last night in the dark and I had to come down that slope and another slope but over there well it wasn't a cliff but couldn't really see in the dark so it wasn't too cool and I came wandered whoops up this creek and picked my trail from last night in the dark and I can't believe I went down this shit and it you know, just kind of drops off near the bottom, near cliff. It was nuts, man. That was sketchy, I have to say. And I was pretty lost. Ah. Anyway, at least right below me it drops off. So you can see here. That was nuts. <laughs> All I could see was the treetops, and that wasn't very encouraging. Oh, 1.7k in one and a half hours because my skins keep coming off. There's no glue and I lost a bit for the skins uh, last night at the top. It's waiting for me at the very tippy tippy top. Well, what have you. I'm kind of, you know, slogging through this shit. My stupid skins. There's no glue left. I have to fix the glue. Again, very steep. Impressive mountain. Well, it's quarter to three, so I might actually make the top, but I don't think so. Uh, no, I won't make it. I've only gone up 100, I don't know, 100 meters, 150 meters in <laughs> two and a half, nearly two hours. You. And there's going to be really a lot of nice powder going down, man. Sensational, and I'm kind of going up where I want to go down, picking a line where there's actually space and clearings and space between the trees. But anyway. Well, I'm not going to make it up to the top. I mean, that was. I went 146 meters, it's another 120 to go. And it's so heavy, it's just through really heavy snow with all the shit that's just not going to happen and it's 3.30 I said I'd turn back at 3.30 so it gives me time to have my cocoa, have a little break, smoke all some chocolate and some nuts and then uh, you know chill on the way down instead of stressing about getting back before it's dark so I should be down well that's my leg that's why it's taking forever to get up here <laughs> but it'll be really nice going down I tell you what that's what you call the shit. Alrighty. Ah, found a tree stump. Take a little break. <clears throat> Alright. When I get back to Bergen, a long shower with the cold beer while I'm showering. Then another long shower, boiling hot. And then a cold beer or six, or eight. <clears throat> Giant ass steak. That little orange blob is my tent. So it's always out there. Okay, I have to cruise. Well, I'm heading home. That was a bit of an abortion. I went at five miles an hour, but it's getting nippy. I just had to stop and shoot some of the mountains. It's really pretty sunset and so on. So I'm just doing that. So uh, anyway, yes, nice, huh? Boy, it's going to be a cold one again tonight. I'll tell you what. All right.